Next I want to start looking at quantities and costs. I need to calculate the volume of earthworks and calculate the length of tunnels and viaducts. In the templates for tunnels and viaducts I have created centre lines which have been assigned styles of tunnel centre line and viaduct centre line. And in the quantities system I can measure the lengths of each of these line types to give me the total length of tunnel and the total length of viaducts. Going into reports and reporting on surfaces, here I have a list of all the different things created when I ran a roadway modeler. I then select the list of things that I want to measure. So here are the track center lines, the tunnel center lines, and the viaduct center lines. Apply that and it automatically calculates the measurement quantities for track center line, tunnel center line, and viaduct center line, giving me the lineal lengths for each of these items and applying unit rates here from a table giving me the cost for each of these items. Next I want to calculate the volume for earthworks. And the first step in this process is to create a triangulated surface of the new earthworks but excluding the areas of tunnels and viaducts. To do this I assign which features are to be included or excluded in the triangulated surface for the proposed model. Now what I'm going to do is triangulate the new surface and then I'm going to display it. Zooming into areas for viaducts and tunnels what you can see is that there are triangles which span across these areas which are not needed in the proposed surface. So all I have to do is use Edit Surface, Delete Triangles and choose the ones I want to delete. And that's the first one done. And the next one. And so on and so forth. To calculate the volumes between the existing and proposed surface I first have to create some cross sections. And I have a set of preferences already set up for my cross sections which I'm going to load. And that sets up the preset definitions for my cross sections, for example values to 100 meter left and 100 meter right offsets. I tell it which set of cross sections I want, root and digital terrain, and then I apply those and tell it where I want those drawn on my drawing. Close that and zoom in and look at my cross sections. Here are some earthworks, here is a tunnel, and here is an example of a viaduct. So that has created cross sections at 20 meter intervals for 17 kilometers of route. The next step is to calculate the earthworks volume for where sections exist for both the proposed surface and the existing surface. To do this I use Evaluate, Volumes and End Area Volumes as the calculation method. Apply and Close. And now if I zoom into my cross sections, at the end of each of these, these have been annotated with the volumes of cut and fill automatically and the areas of cut and fill shaded in as well. To get a report of the volumes, all I have to do is rerun the calculation and check the box for Calculate XML Report. For each cross section, the report shows cut, fill, added volumes at each section, and then calculates the mass haul value as well. Scrolling through the report gives us the grand totals for both cut and fill. 
I now want to start looking at the mass hall for this route. I need to understand where I will have to transfer material across some of the construction barriers such as tunnels or viaducts. To make it easy to identify where the construction barriers are, I generate a profile of the route showing the viaducts, earthworks and tunnels in different colours. When I ran my volumes, I saved the XML report in a file, and I can open that up and reuse it to create the mass hall diagram. I then set the exaggeration scale for the mass hall, and then attach the mass hall to the top of my profile, so everything is now in alignment with the profile diagram. This now gives me the same linear position for everything, so I can now see the relationship between the mass hall and the tunnels and the viaducts. In this particular project, we have huge amounts of cut, so we have material building on the mass hall diagram throughout the project. And that completes my quantities and cost calculations.